Hello, everybody. Good morning. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm doing part two. I don't even know if I put it on there, but part two of the portrait of the grandpa and the granddaughter. So, if you guys would like to watch along, feel free to show you guys what I'm working with. Hello, Amy. Um, I will. What's up, Ralph and Rosa? All right. So, this is the image I will be working with. Um, to continue. So this is how much I got done yesterday. Now, personal preference, let me show you what I got. Well, you can't really see with the sun behind it, but it's good. It just doesn't look like the little girl. So I'm going to try to do some edits today. I'm going to show you guys how I do that. And then of course I got to work on grandpa. So I definitely have to finish this painting soon. Um, and, uh, and get started on some others. So anyways, watch along as you would like. And then I will try to tell you guys about some fun events happening this week. Am I doing this right? Let me see. I need to turn it around. Which way? This way. There we go. There we have it. Fantastic. Okay. Want me to do it in an Irish accent the entire time? No? Okay. Anyways, to review, I'm going to show you the brushes that I will be um, using. I'm drying them off. Anyways, so I always have my big wide one. These ones are just super common. And then my second one is this, and then just smaller, and then the thin. <clears throat> so pretty much what I do is I start with the broad, the broad strokes. And what's up, Jen? How's it going? And Mr. Toddy. So pretty much what this style is, is you start off with big brush strokes with your big brush. And then you lay down where you want your, your darks and your lights. Um, I'm used to doing it more with drawing back in college, but with painting, it's a little bit different, a little bit more difficult sometimes. And uh, there's particular artists that really inspire me in this style. And so, um, so I was trying to do it. It didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it. It still came out okay but I really wanted it to be like brush strokey. But um, no worries, I guess I'm just naturally more the realistic guy and that is all right. So today I'm gonna do some edits. Um, I'm not satisfied totally with, you know, it doesn't look totally like the girl. So I'm going to make some edits. Um, so I'll show you guys how I do that. First of all, the nose always needs to be between the eyes. So if I look just at this nose, say even the eyes are completely wrong, um, they're quite all right. So you have this eye is from here to here. So from here to here should have been the next eye. And it's not. So the eyes, first of all, are far apart. But that's harder to work with. So instead, maybe I could extend the eye a little bit. Let's see. Let me just make the eye a little bit bigger. It's really the little details that mean so much. So anyways, um, so now we got slightly bigger eye. It would be around right here. Let's make this one a little bit bigger too. Just a little bit. It's funny how the smallest things make something look so unnatural. Okay, again, I would say it's about right here. It's better. It's not perfect, but it's better. Um, and then once again, you just darken the top where the eye would be. And then, you know, we'll make it more realistic later. Obviously bring the color over more so that it doesn't look like she's Weird eyed. All right, it's not horrible. Um, the other thing that I saw that I had wrong was that the nose needs to land right between the eyes. Um, so as of right now, it's kind of over. So I'm just gonna bring it over a little bit and I'm going to thicken this one up a little bit. Cool. I like that better already. You know, sometimes I'm looking at the photo so much that I forget to just use what I know, which is proportions. Okay. 
Um, the other thing is here. She doesn't have a mustache. No, that's not what I'm doing. Her cheek comes down straight. Now the mouth is also off. The mouth is supposed to come down halfway between the eye. So it should come all the way over. So I'm just going to extend the lip. It already looks more natural. I love it. Okay. I'm not gonna use too much brown because then it'll look like she got a lip liner. Okay, and then let's bring down this line here. Let's bring her bottom lip over a little bit. Okay. Right. Um, what else do we got here? Let's do some shadow beneath the nose. Um, I did want to fix her cheek. I think I gave her too much cheek. So let's uh, edit. Bam! That's how you edit stuff. You just erase it. Okay. So yeah, so pretty much, if you are just following along, I am editing uh, the portrait I did yesterday because I wasn't satisfied. It didn't really look like the little girl that I'm painting, and that is a big deal, especially if the whole painting is about them. So I am just... This is the inside of the mouth. Shadows here, these are gums. Okay. Probably gotta change that tongue a little bit. Um, but for now. Continue on. Let's give her slightly bigger eyebrows. They're more square up here. Obviously, she's a little girl, so. Okay. What else are we doing here? Mm All right, all right. This is where hair is gonna go. All right, I think it looks better already. Um, let me give her some. And then uh, eyelids. Mm 
So, I am more satisfied. Let me pull it back again. Let me show you what we're working with here. This is what we're painting. And this is what I got. Let me see. I gotta stand back and look at it. It's getting there. I'm still not totally satisfied. Let's see what else we can do with this. I'm gonna bring in some other colors here. So, let's see. This might not be the right color, but we will find out. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit because I don't want the, the brush strokes to be too heavy. So it made it a lot more smoother if you're wondering how that happened. some pink and All right. again I really wanted to do like a particular style but it is coming out more smooth than it is brush stroke that's fine. <laughs> I wet my brush a little bit. There's already a lot underneath. If this was the first um, layer, it wouldn't have worked, uh, but it's not, so. It works out. It just puts some color on top. Get a little bit more of each color. Just moving, in, moving, <laughs> some moving. You just move it around. Okay. When it starts to get too thick like this, then I need to wet my brush again. If you're curious, this is how I store my, oh, you can see it, that's fine. That works. So yeah, this is how I like to put my paint. Some people use paint palettes and me, I just feel more comfortable ready to just pick and pull from the tops of my paints. Unless I have to make a lot of one color, then it is better to have the, now, I wanted to come back here. So it doesn't look too harsh. 
wetting my brush again just because it's getting really um, I'll show you what it looks like next time because I already wet it but it gets really uh, when you're pushing it around it, it looks really sprayed is the right word Oh, see, too dark. This whole portion is actually one of the lightest parts of the face. So I'm just trying to... Sometimes you gotta leave and come back to your painting and I feel like that is the benefit of this piece because I was not doing it so well. Well, like I said, starting off something is, is one thing, coming back to it to finish it off is another. And it seems really easy right now, so praise God, I like this. So this week, we have some events coming up. Um, if you would like to join us, we have um, FAVO, Faith Arts Village of Orlando. We do it once a month, every first Friday of the month. And pretty much we are part of about 30 studios, art studios that open up and we just display our art. It's a very chill place. It's good for like date night type stuff, um, but uh, nothing big and feel free to come through. It's uh, this Friday from five to nine. So that's cool, that's in the downtown area near, um, it's on Colonial Highland near, what is it called? Lake Yola. So that's that. Another one is same day, same night. If you are in the Millennia area and you are a youth, then I will be co-ministering at, um, what's that place called? Live Church Orlando. It's at Holy Land, so definitely come through if you want to do that. I'll be sharing my testimony as well as just um, co-hosting with my friend Christian. So definitely come through if you would like to hear and get insight on, on life story and stuff like that and be encouraged. And then what else is happening? Um, what else? I know my church is doing a baseball game on Sunday. No, Saturday the 8th. So that should be fun. I did not try out. I have learned my lesson. Stick to the art. But I do like sports, but not competitively, I have to say. What else is happening this week? Mm. We have our last citywide of the year next week um, on Tuesday night. What's today? Today is Thursday. Um, we had one this past Tuesday, obviously, and it was fantastic. It was so um, challenging. So definitely check it out on Facebook Live if you want. Um, what else? This weekend, December 8th, also Saturday, we have the Soul Rockers 20th anniversary, which is a breakdance competition from people all over the world. Um, definitely something, if you haven't experienced, it would be a great first experience. 
Um, and, and yeah, so definitely come check that out. And I believe it's 15 to get in and it'll be held at 737 West Lancaster Road, which is um, the same location as Boom. So very cool opportunity. Y otra es, um, I will be displaying art at another church called uh, Metro Life in Castleberry. So if you're in the Castleberry area, come through. That'll be Saturday uh, evening as well. So sorry to tear your calendars apart. But uh, yeah, come through wherever you're close to. And that is free. And we will be having art for sale. So that should be fun. Um... She's definitely looking more happy, which is great. It's more satisfying than it was before. She looks scared. So I'm liking this better and better. I'm bringing out my black. I'm not sure if anybody's watching. So just if you are, black is definitely not something you wanna use all the time. So I only use black if I wanna make like some final uh, details. So I'm gonna work on ooh, the eyes. Um, how do I zoom this in? All right, it's not zooming in. So, I wet my brush as well so that it's much sharper.
Just making the eyes a little bit bigger so it looks more natural. So black, what's really good about black is it just brings such depth to your painting. So it's very good to add black at the end. Mm, that was a good choice to use black with the pink. It gives the shadow look. I was using brown earlier, but black is much better. Oops, too much. Jesus. Now, her lips are too white there, so I definitely gotta go back and add some pink. Her lips are very different. I might just need to find another color to use for the lips moving forward. Do need black for those nostrils. All right, where are we at? This goes here. Black for the nostrils. Okay. Black for some of these eyebrows. All right, and for now, I'm just gonna step back and leave that as is. Um, <clears throat> I will go ahead and fill in the shirt with, what color should we use? Um, for now, I'm gonna use yellow, just for the heck of it. I'll use this brush here, medium-sized brush. Now, her, her shirt in the photo is gray, but I really want this painting to be Fun and popping. Does she have a neck? Nope, not in the photo. Even if her hair is here where the black is, we will do it later. Paint the edge while I'm at it. Gonna add some yellow in this background here. Just because I had extra on my brush. All right. 
cool. For his shirt, I think I'm going to use um, like a, a dark turquoise. So let's just do that. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Even though um, this is all one color, I am still painting it piece by piece because, uh, what's it called? Because you can see the brush strokes in the paint. So in the photo, their clothes are not this color, but because the owner or the person commissioning it really wants it to be um, playful and capture their, their emotions or whatever, then that's why I'm choosing these poppin' colors. So definitely choose your colors wisely because they can definitely change up the way the emotion of your painting. When you, when you get a chance, always paint your edges. Just makes it look more finished. Why don't we get started on the uh, the grandpa over here and take a break from granddaughter. I'm going to put my blue away. By the way, this blue is aqua. I love it. One of my favorites. I love this one and patina, which is another type of blue, but it's lighter. So this one here, patina. All right, so to give you my general colors, um, I need to pull up my sleeves, otherwise I'm going to get paint. Okay. So these are my my general colors here. We have um, some kind of clay orange, some kind of pink. This one is more skin tone than usual, but I use any kind of pink depending on the person. Yellow ochre, um, off white, not white, and uh, and a brown. So these are the things that are gonna help me paint the the grandpa. So let us start with big brush. Um, no, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this brush here. Um, now, let me review, show you what I'm working with. This is grandpa's face here. I put a grid. Um, well, I didn't put a grid, it comes with the phone. Oh, my bad, I'm not even showing you. So I screenshotted this and uh, and yeah, so it helps me to figure out where the face is supposed to be proportioned, which I'm glad I did because I already had it wrong when I first started. And, uh, and yeah, so I'm, this time I'm gonna keep 
the man's proportions in mind, make sure his nose is in position and all that kind of stuff. Cause I was not paying attention with the little girl. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna pull out more pink um, because that's what I see. E white. So let's just put. Him and his granddaughter definitely share the same facial structures. Um, I'm going to add this before he looks all... Uh, I'm just going to... I did realize yesterday I was being very um, cautious with my color, so today I'm, I'm going to try to be more risk-taking. Sometimes just keep this in my hands because like this. Um, honestly, with his face, I am not sure where to begin. So that's why I'm just kind of laying things down um, and hoping to kind of discover, okay, this is, this is where I need to begin. His skin tone is um, definitely a little bit different. He's more pink. She's more um, more yellow. Uh, but regardless, I think I'm going to use the same color scheme for both. Now, he does have like freckled skin, I believe. And so that'll be fun to add in later. Um, but it definitely, if somebody has freckles, it is one of the funnest things to, to add to a painting for sure. Um. Mm -hmm. Something I said in my last video as well is always respect the forehead. The forehead is much bigger than expected. Between the face, he's also smiling, so, um, you know. But it should be, let me see. It should be, and his, his face here is different, let me see. We got the mouth, nose, eyes, forehead. Whoop. Just threw my brush in my cup. So, yeah. So it is the top third. The whole top third is all forehead and eyebrows. Um, so definitely something. What do I have on my brush? I don't even know. Something light. Mm-mm-mm. So just laying down general shapes, spots of where light and dark is going to go. Some of, the th some of these things are a little bit difficult to see simply because uh, the photo has not loaded on my computer in full detail. So it's kind of blurry. Um, I need to get... Uh, 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Sorry, I'm, I had to wipe off my computer screen. Okay. Cool. So, let's go to his nose. See, too much pain at once will overpower for sure. His face is, is definitely a lot more fun of just laying down different colors. Um, if I could just keep working it like this, this is exactly how I wanted to do it, but she's already in full detail, so I'll definitely What do you guys prefer? Do you guys like a realistic portrait? Do you like stylized stuff? It's funny uh, when when people have wrinkles or chins, extra chins and stuff, they always say, can you paint me without that? So I need to make sure these neck rolls don't make him look bigger than he is. Otherwise, I will offend him. I think I came down one too many. He does have a chest, so let's give him one. That's not too bad. I wasn't even showing you guys what I was doing. My bad. Okay, let's keep it moving. Let's do
So the style I'm working on is uh, starting off with large brush strokes and then making them smaller as I go. So if you're just watching in, that's what I'm up to. What's really good about this style is you can adjust as you go. You'd be like, hey, I don't like that line. It's okay. You could just make a new one. So it all works out. Looks a little bit like Frankenstein there. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna um, make my brush smaller uh, in just a second, because obviously I was lying. Now I'm going to get, oh, I don't know where that paint came from, but there you have it. So now I'm going down smaller. Um, I guess, no, I was using that brush. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna go down to this now, wetting my brush over here. And um, I'm gonna use dark brown to identify some of the darker areas. So what you do is you dip your brush in water and then you just kind of rotate it in the paint and it will give you something that is much more flowy than if you just were to dip it in the paint. So, eyes. Sometimes if you have too much water, it will be, um, that's the word, transparent. But right now we're just kind of marking out where the eye is. Now, if you remember from the last time, we need the eyes to, be, to have the space of an eye in between. So now is the time, if I were to edit anything, to edit now. So let's, um, let's mark the middle of the... the Faces here, if we were to do a mark and a mark, his eyes are pretty wide, so let's go a little bit wider, wider, since his nose is that big. So that's where my eye needs to begin, not here. So I need to adjust. So that's the proper spacing. The nose is beautifully big because of the way that the photo is taken. I love noses. Noses give such character and um, they're fun. The, the form of it is very fun.
Now his smile, to show you what we got. So his smile always comes up to the mid of the eye. Smile, smile. mid of the eye. That's where the proportion is. So we gotta make sure that his smile is bigger than I have it. So imagine the middle of the eye comes down. Oh no, it's pretty good. Okay, middle of the eye, not bad. Um, I guess we gotta, let's, let's do this. This is an eye. This is an eye. And then I gotta decide how big the eye is. Yeah, it's still pretty much. All right. So now we need to make the mouth. It has a very distinct mouth, um, and right now it's it's pretty um, non-distinct in my painting. So I just need to make sure that as I edit it, I figure out those nuances of his mouth. Um, him and his his granddaughter definitely are a lot alike. He looks funny without teeth, right? Okay. Let's give him his middle teeth first. That's probably a good place to start. Oh yeah, I gave him a space. Look at that. Okay, fill it in. Fill it in. Great teeth, senor, great teeth. Not bad. See, his face is coming out all fun. I like that. That's so cool. I really like the brush stroke. Look, that's what I was going for. Come on. Come on. All right. 
just just keep working it, I guess. Um. <laughs> I'm going very tired. I think for now, that is all I'm going to do for Facebook Live. Because for some reason, I'm just so tired. So just to give you guys a run through, this is what I'm working with. This is what I have. So I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, and I'll definitely post up later. Um, if I do anything. Thank you guys for watching through. And I might have to take a nap. Painting does exhaust me. But um, yes, if you would like any Christmas presents or anything like that, please let me know soon um, because they are stacking up quick and I want to make sure to get it out to your family beforehand. And um, yeah, so visit my website, AntonioTheArtist.com if you would like any kind of paintings done. Um, and what else? Um, feel free to come through to any of the events. We got... Uh, Friday, two different events. You got Favo in the downtown area or Live Church Youth Night in the Holy Land. Um, uh, there's a church there called Live Church. And then uh, anything else? Let me see. You got Saturday, you can go to a baseball game where two churches are battling it out till the end. Um so that'll be fun at Fairview Park off Lee Road. And then you also have, uh, if you're in Castleberry, there's an art show happening there. And then also, if you want to go to a breakdance competition, that will be Saturday evening. So I believe that one is 15 bucks. So if there is anything else I'm trying to think. So you got an art show, breakdance competition, you have a baseball game, you have... Uh, a church service or a gallery night, whatever it may be. So definitely check out the video. I didn't talk through the majority of it, but you can definitely watch through. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, come check us out on next uh, citywide Bible study as well as we close the year. And um, it will be completely different. Mm, completely is a big word, but it will be very different as the new year comes and we open the forum. So definitely keep a lookout for everything and um, we will see you soon. All right. Peace.